In mathematics, the Siegel-Bargmann space for Irving Siegel and Valentine Bargmann, also known as the Bargmann space or Bargmann-Fock space, is the space of holomorphic functions f in n complex variables satisfying the square integrability condition f2 equals pi minus n c n f z 2 exp minus z 2 d z infinity display style f caret 2 equals pi caret n in under Score math b c caret n f z caret two e x p z caret two d z where here d z denotes the two n dimensional Lebesgue measure on C n. It is a Hilbert space with respect to the associated inner product f g equals pi minus n c n f z g z e x p minus z two d z display style Langle f mid g wrangle equals pi caret n int underscore math b c caret n overline f z g z e x p z caret two d z. The space was introduced in the mathematical physics literature separately by Bargman and Siegel in the early 1960s, see Bargman and Siegel Basic information about the material in this section may be found in Fallen and Hall Siegel worked from the beginning in the infinite dimensional setting, see Baez, Siegel and Joe 1992 and Section 10 of Hall 2000 for more information on this aspect of the subject. Topic properties A basic property of this space is that pointwise evaluation is continuous, meaning that for each a in Cn, there is a constant C such that, f a, c f. Display style, f a, it then follows from the Riesz representation theorem that there exists a unique f a in the Siegel Bargmann space such that f a equals f a f, display style f a equals Langle f underscore a mid f wrangle. The function f a may be computed explicitly as f a z equals e x p a z, display style f underscore a z equals e x p overline a c d o t z, where Explicitly, a z equals j equals one and a j z j. Display style overline a c d o t z equals sum underscore j equals one caret n overline a underscore j z underscore j. The function f a is called the coherent state with parameter a, and the function kappa a z equals F A Z display style kappa A Z equals overline F underscore A Z is known as the reproducing kernel for the Siegel Bargmann space. Note that F A equals F A F equals pi minus n c n kappa a z f z e x p minus z 2 d z Display style f a equals Langle f underscore a mid f wrangle equals pi caret n int underscore math b c caret n kappa a z f z e x p z caret two d z, meaning that integration against the reproducing kernel simply gives back, i.e., reproduces the function f, provided, of course, that f is an element of the space and, in particular, is holomorphic. Note that f a two equals f a f a equals f a a equals exp a two 
Display style F underscore a carrot two equals Langle F underscore a mid F underscore a wrangle equals F underscore A A equals EXP a carrot two. It follows from the Cauchy Schwartz inequality that elements of the Siegel Bargmann space satisfy the pointwise bounds F A F A F equals EXP a two two F Display style F A L E Q F underscore A F equals EXP a carrot two two F Topic Quantum mechanical interpretation One may interpret a unit vector in the Siegel Bargmann space as the wave function for a quantum particle moving in Rn. In this view, Cn plays the role of the classical phase space, whereas Rn is the configuration space. The restriction that f be holomorphic is essential to this interpretation. If f were an arbitrary square integrable function, it could be localized into an arbitrarily small region of the phase space, which would go against the uncertainty principle. Since, however, f is required to be holomorphic, it satisfies the pointwise bounds described above, which provides a limit on how concentrated f can be in any region of phase space. Given a unit vector f in the Siegel Bargmann space, the quantity π minus n f z 2 exp minus Z two display style pi caret n f z caret two exp z caret two may be interpreted as a sort of phase space probability density for the particle. Since the above quantity is manifestly non-negative, it cannot coincide with the Wigner function of the particle, which usually has some negative values. In fact, the above density coincides with the Hussimi function of the particle, which is obtained from the Wigner function by smearing with a Gaussian. This connection will be made more precise below, after we introduce the Siegel Bargmann transform. <laughs> the canonical commutation relations One may introduce annihilation operators AJ and creation operators AJ on the Siegel Bargmann space by setting A J equals Z J displaystyle a underscore J equals partial partial Z underscore J and A J equals Z J displaystyle a underscore J caret asterisk equals Z underscore J. These operators satisfy the same relations as the usual creation and annihilation operators, namely the AJs and AJ asterisk s commute among themselves and A J A K equals delta j k display style a underscore j a underscore k caret asterisk equals delta underscore j k furthermore the adjoint of aj with respect to the siegel bargmann inner product is aj asterisk this is suggested by the notation but not at all obvious from the formulas for aj and aj asterisk indeed bargmann was led to introduce the particular form of the inner product on the siegel bargmann space precisely so that the creation and annihilation operators would be adjoints of each other we may now construct self adjoint position and momentum operators a j and b j by the formulas a j equals a j plus a j two 
Display style a underscore j equals a underscore j plus a underscore j carrot asterisk two b j equals a j minus a j two i Display style b underscore j equals a underscore j a underscore j caret asterisk two i. These operators satisfied the ordinary canonical commutation relations. It can be shown that a j and b j satisfied the exponentiated commutation relations, i.e., the Weyl relations, and that they act irreducibly on the Siegel-Bargmann space. See section 14.4 of Hall, 2013. The Siegel-Bargmann transform Since the operators a j and b j from the previous section satisfied the Weyl relations and act irreducibly on the Siegel-Bargmann space, the Stone von Neumann theorem applies. Thus, there is a unitary map B from the position Hilbert space L2 N to the Siegel-Bargmann space that intertwines these operators with the usual position and momentum operators. The map B may be computed explicitly as a modified double Weierstrass transform B F Z equals R N E X P minus Z Z minus two two Z X plus X X two F X D X Display style BF Z equals int underscore Math B R carrot N E X P Z C D O T Z two S Q R T two Z C D O T X plus X C D O T X two F X D X tilde where D X is the N dimensional Lebesgue measure on N and where Z is in N. See Bargman, 1961, and section 14.4 of Hall, 2013. One can also describe Bf Z as the inner product of f with an appropriately normalized coherent state with parameter z, where now we express the coherent states in the position representation instead of in the Siegel-Bargmann space. We may now be more precise about the connection between the Siegel-Bargmann space and the Hussey-Mi function of a particle. If f is a unit vector in L squared n, then we may form a probability density on n as pi minus n b f z two exp minus z two Display style pi caret n b f z caret two e x p z caret two tilde. The claim is then that the above density is the Hussey-Mi function of f, which may be obtained from the Wigner function of f by convolving with a double Gaussian, the Weierstrass transform. This fact is easily verified by using the formula for b f along with the standard formula for the Hussey-Mi function in terms of coherent states. Since B is unitary, its Hermitian adjoint is its inverse. Recalling that the measure on C N displaystyle math B C carrot N is E minus Z two D Z displaystyle E carrot Z carrot two D Z we thus obtain one inversion formula for B as F X equals C N E X P minus Z Z minus two two Z X plus 
x x 2 b f z e minus z 2 d z Display style f x equals int underscore math b c caret n e x p overline z c d o t overline z minus two s q r t two overline z c d o t x plus x c d o t x two b f z e caret z caret two d z tilde since, however, bf is a holomorphic function, there can be many integrals involving bf that give the same value. Think of the Cauchy integral formula, thus, there can be many different inversion formulas for the Siegel-Bargmann transform b. Another useful inversion formula is f x equals c exp minus x 2 2 r n b f x plus i y e x p minus y 2 2 d y Display style f x equals c e x p x caret two two int underscore math b r caret n b f x plus i y e x p y caret two two die, where c equals pi minus n four two pi minus n 2 display style c equals pi caret n 4 2 pi caret n 2 this inversion formula may be understood as saying that the position wave function f may be obtained from the phase space wave function bf by integrating out the momentum variables this is to be contrasted to the Wigner function, where the position probability density is obtained from the phase space quasi probability density by integrating out the momentum variables. Topic: <laughs> Generalizations. There are various generalizations of the Siegel-Bargmann transform. In one of these, the role of the configuration space Rn is played by the group manifold of a compact Lie group, such as Su -N. The role of the phase space Cn is then played by the complexification of the compact Lie group, such as Sl -N -C in the case of Su -N. The various Gaussians appearing in the ordinary Siegel-Bargmann space and transform are replaced by heat kernels. See also Theta representation Hardy space <laughs>